Welcome to the Planks and Expo Thanks Challenge. We're doing this challenge because this is the time of the year that everybody starts thinking about, you know, doing nice things for other people. Uh, I think we should be doing it all year long, but I think this is another time during Thanksgiving that we kind of look for a special way to show people, you know, that we really care about them, that we, that they mean a lot to us. During Thanksgiving, it's, uh, you know, we're thankful for what we have, we're thankful for what we get, hopefully, and also during Christmas time, we're spreading that love as well. So, the Expo Marker Challenge part is where we're going to take 10 different days to write a nice message with our Expo Marker somewhere where they can see it, somewhere where they will race. You know, if it's on uh, inside the shower, so when they hop in the shower the next day, they get this great message in the morning. It'll just make their day. You'll see what I mean when you put a few of these out. It could be on a mirror, could be on a car window, uh, anywhere that you know that it will erase. Make sure you check before you go writing a huge message. And don't do it in permanent marker because that'd be bad too. Uh, you can do it with a relative, a friend, a family. It could be to the same person each day. It could be to different people. Uh, that's, up, that's totally up to you. So 10 different days you're going to write a nice message, kind of like this one. Uh, we have my daughter and my wife. I did this with my wife first and my daughter, my daughter saw it and thought that was the coolest thing. So the next day I wrote one for her and sure enough, uh, the next morning I get into the shower and see that she had wrote myself and my wife a message. And you could just tell it, you know, it meant a lot to her to get that nice little message, but then for her to feel like it was important for her to tell it back to us. It was a real cool feeling. So it's, this isn't anything amazing, but it's just a time to show those people the appreciation. The other part of the challenge is the planks giving part. Uh, we're gonna do 10 days in a row of planks and they're gonna be different planks. After the description, I'm gonna show you exactly what each one looks like. So there it is, quick and easy description. You're gonna do 10 days in a row of planks and then you're gonna to try to do at least 10 messages, one each day to somebody with an Expo marker, somewhere, anywhere you can, have a little fun with it, do some drawings with it, you know, have a nice little message, and you are going to see it's gonna make some people's day. Okay, looking at plank position. High plank, her shoulders are over her hands, her waist is down. Brad, would you put your butt up in the air? Okay, that is incorrect. You notice the shoulders are not over the hands, bring them down and you're having a straight line from your shoulders to your feet. Now going to low plank. Low plank's the same thing, shoulders over the elbows this time, and you're trying to keep a straight line from your feet to your shoulders as well. Okay, this is the basic forearm plank. You wanna start by getting into position. Have your elbows and all of your weight on your elbows and your forearms. Your body should form a straight line from your shoulders to your ankles. Engage your core by sucking your belly button in and to your spine. Okay, this is plank dips. You're gonna start in regular position and then you're gonna rotate from the right to the left, trying to keep your body off of the ground and you can even slow down a little bit. Okay, this is side plank. Laying on your side, all of your weight should be on your feet and your forearm. Noticing that trying to make a straight line down through your feet, if you need, you can always use your arm for balance. This is plank jacks. So notice that she is in plank. I would even have her butt down just a little bit more and you're just doing regular jumping jacks with your feet. Okay, these are called Superman or Superwoman planks. You're gonna try to lift your opposite hand and your opposite foot. So notice that she is trying to stabilize. Go slow with these, don't rush them. One hand goes forward, the opposite leg goes back. These are called plank jumps or bunny hops. So you're gonna bring your feet in and back. And you can notice she's doing a little bit of a variation where you can just do two little hops in and kick it back. These are plank leg with leg lifts. Plank with leg lifts. Notice she's going to try and keep plank. Her shoulders are over her hands. Her butt is down and she's just gonna alternate lifting leg up. Up and down planks. You're gonna go from high plank to low plank, high plank to low plank. Don't rush that, make sure you have a soft surface to do this on. These are called plank ski abs. So just like a skier, you're gonna go from left side back to neutral position, right side back to neutral position. If you can't go too far, don't worry about it. Just try and get your obliques, your side of your abdominal muscles engaged. These are the one arm plank reach. Noticing that she's trying to hold for roughly three to five seconds. I'd like to keep her body straight. If you notice she's shifting, try to keep the plank flat and straight. 
So we're low point position, reaching out, holding, and bringing it back. 